Hello, hello, how's everybody doing? This is gonna be an art, an art video. I haven't did one in a long time. Um, but this is a, we call it the Animar, it's still an Animar, but it's gonna be on, um, Way In On It. The name of it is Way In On It. The Animar Way In On It. Like you say, like you would say, um, I'm gonna weigh in on it, okay? that expression. And um, the first thing I'm gonna say is I got the things that I wanted to do in the art project, okay? And if you're not familiar with this, for people who are not familiar with the station, what I do is when I do an Animar, a lot of times I have art projects that I just do art projects and then I show you what I'm doing and I explain it a little bit and then after I explain it I um, I uh, I put it up when it's complete uh, without any words or anything else because the former video tells you about the art project this one is going to be an animar okay and um, with the Animar, what we do is I'm doing this now, the explanation, then I view, do a viewing, uh, um, a YouTube on the viewing, just the viewing, and that's it. And then after I view it, I, I um, do a solo, usually a solo on it, because that's what it's about. This one is about um, way in on it. Okay, so um, now we're talking about art. So it's... And this to help a lot of people too who are into art projects. And the reason why this one is going to be beneficial with the experience that I have from doing the former ones, and it's also going to explain to you about um, because everything now is on time, okay? So this one is pretty much going to show you, I'm showing you how you can do things in a timely manner, but everything counts. I mean, you have to worry about the materials, you have to worry about what's in your mind. So let's just jump jump in and, and do this thing and let me start the explanation. So let's weigh in on it. And when I was thinking of the art project and when you have something in your mind, everything, you could do anything in your mind, but we have to fulfill it, okay? And especially in nowadays, and the thing that I want to tell you about nowadays is that, especially for YouTube, you have to complete it, okay? Some things I might do in the future, just forget about that because that's in the future, but I have to prepare it in my mind because it is an animar, it has to be in a timely fashion. So I pretty much have to see a vision of the what I want to see. And it's always like very beautiful, which reminds me of a story. Uh, I think I've t told it before, but not in this context. I remember when I first got into physical art to where I wanted to do something, and I was in New York, and my landlord let me do it in the hallway. But you know, I never got it off the ground. It was a lot of money I put into it, but I was just experimenting. And experimenting really helped me. But the thing about it is, is because I saw this thing in my mind and I wanted to bring it out, okay? And um, there was a lot of things that I didn't realize. And a lot of things had to do with the physics, the way things are, you know, and the materials and all this other things. I've taken classes, which is very important, but when you have certain certain specific things that you want in your mind, sometimes you have to do a lot of research. And the one that I was doing, it really wasn't a class for it because it had to do with specific things that I seen in my mind. But it, the only thing it was, I did, actually I was doing two. And the thing that I learned the most from it was all the things that I did wrong. But anyway, that's what I'm trying to get to. So you see this beautiful thing in my mind. I have to do the Animar, weigh in on it, okay? It's going to be an Animar. And um, I saw it exactly the way I wanted to do it. But I had to, um, 
I saw strips, okay? First I saw a square that I wanted to keep things in a square, but I didn't want to border the square. I wanted to do the art in the form of a square. So you can see the square, I mean, a square, the shape of the complete artwork is in a square without the borders. And then I wanted, and that's what I'm gonna do. So that's just exactly what I'm going to do. That was the border as far as the frame is concerned. But then I wanted to make strips, okay? I saw them as like tissue paper and you cut them and stuff like that, which I've done before. And that's what I saw in my mind. But when you do things, a lot of things get in the way. So the first thing you have to do is, um, the first thing I do is figure out what type of frame. Back in the day, before all this technology, we had to have some kind of frame, some kind of form, okay? to display it. But nowadays, we can actually imagine or I can actually do a square and have it to where um, I don't have to specify that it's a square because the forms inside is going to shape into the, the artwork inside is going to shape into a square. Now, <clears throat> so the strips I decided to do, uh, at first it was tissue paper and I wanted to do long strips. But then that, I went to the store and you know, this is talking about time because I had to, a lot of things to do. And I have to finish this one tomorrow because there's so many other things I'm doing. And plus I'm doing another important YouTube uh, music on um, Saturday. So I have to do it in a, and I have to make sure that everything is done on time. And this actual animar is going to be done. It's going to be finished probably next week. So after I had the strips, that didn't work out. And when I went to the store, they had, it wasn't strips, but it was, I'm going to show you because I have these right here. I just got back from the store. And instead of strips, I decided to use this. I got all different colors. I just saw one color, but that's, to show you how the mind works, it wants certain things, but you have to adjust what you want to, what's going on around you. And that's a very important point. You have to adjust. And some artists, it's hard for them to do that. And when I first got into art, it was hard for me to do that. I learned most of my art in New York and New York City. And um, it's very hard to do, to like say, well, you see this and you want this, but it's not like that all the time, okay? So now I understand that. And um, so I got this. Let me see if I can find the color I want. So I wanted just the blue, but I got black. But in my mind, I mean, the way I did the vision of it, it was blue, you know? And you know, I always have a problem with blue and green anyway. Anyway, there's no green. But, um, when I mean, as far as imagining, when I imagine something blue in my mind, it's green. And when I imagine, I don't know why. It ha it's not colorblind. Um, it's just something different because I, it's not colorblind because, you know, I work with colors and people, but I don't know what it is. Maybe it's something. It has to be something because I can see green and I can see, okay, I can see green and I can see blue, okay? But when I remember it, like sometimes when I uh, see blue and then I remember it and then, it and then I'll use green or something like that. I'll show you one thing, okay, this is one thing that happened to me. One time I was working, it was in Denver, I was working in this restaurant very nice people. We're like family. And I remember we had a dressing room upstairs and the one of the girls had these, because they used to go out at night, you know, but she had these beautiful, like, I think it was blue pants, okay? So I, I said, boy, those are really beautiful pants, you know? And then after 
the shift and everything was over, she changed into her <laughs> pants. And I, I said it was green, right? See, I'm having problems with it already. Just say it was, I saw blue pants, okay, upstairs. And then when she changed downstairs, it was blue and her pants were blue or green and blue or whatever. But I know it was either, it was switched to the color that I saw and I could never believe that. So anyway, I wanted blue, but like I said, sometimes I have blue and green when I remember it, it switches or something. So anyway, I saw it just in blue. So I decided to use these. We used to use these like crepe paper, okay? A long time ago. But anyway, this is what I decided to use. Now, what I wanna do, I also decided that um, I'm not gonna measure them, but the, you, okay, in the projects, in the art projects, you always have to, now this is the type of art I'm talking about. I think I'm gonna call it flash art because you have to have rules. Without the rules, you won't be able to do it because you have to have it done in a certain amount of time. So the more rules you have, the more specific the rules are, the easier it is for you to do it on time. And all of my art projects that you see, I, most of them were done no more than a week, okay? There was one algebra, I think it was, I don't know if it was the hardest one, but I think it was the hardest one. But I don't, I'm not really sure because sometimes the planning is harder and it takes long and sometimes putting it up is harder and it's easy to figure out. So I have, so this is what I'm going to use and let me get my tape. Okay. I'm here, I'm here, I'm here. I don't like to leave the camera. So, um, so anyway, and I got this tape, you can put it on the walls, okay? And, um... So let's get started. Okay, so now the rules. So I, I, I determined first that I was going to use this, okay? It wasn't exactly what I had in my mind, but now it's exactly what I want, okay? So the number one thing is don't be afraid because sometimes the mind gets in the way and it's like, don't be afraid to change certain things because you have to do it in a timely fashion. Now, after I saw the strips and I knew I wasn't be able to do the strips, I decided on ribbons and I looked into stores, I couldn't find the ribbons. But then I went into the store, it was another store, it was like a party store or something, I don't know. But a um, strange store. And I found this and I said, okay, this will be perfect. So now this is the only thing I want. So that's the number one thing is to adjust to what you have to do. That saves a lot of time, okay? Now, the rules, see if I could put this on here or something, or something. no, I can't hold this on here because I don't like to get um, off the camera. Yes, it holds on there. So, um, it's on the tripod. So, now the rules. Now, of one, the first rule is it has to be in a square. But one thing about it's like when you draw a square, you don't, how many times have we drawn a square? We didn't worry about whether it was perfect, even. We try and make it as even as possible, but if it doesn't get even, you know, big deal. You know what I mean? So as long as it's in the form of a square, but it's gonna be no borders. So then I decided now, now that, now that we have this, there's another thing that we have to worry about. And let's say this is gonna be the first strip, okay? Now there's something else we have to worry about. And it's, you see this, the weight goes down. Believe me, I, I don't worry, I don't say gravity. That's from another video that we do. So we have the weight. So no matter what, we're gonna, well, if we put this on the wall, it's gonna have a weight problem, okay? So I'm gonna put the first one on. I'm not doing the whole project. I'm just letting you see. If you're familiar, Some most people know about, because they're familiar with these things, that, this art thing that I do. So anyway, so let's put the first one on. 
And I'm gonna put the first one on like right here. And you see, it, the number one thing is that it falls. But let's not worry about, let's not worry about weight or anything. Just say it does it. That's another important thing. Just say it does this. Don't explain anything. Like in your mind, it knows it's doing that, but don't say what it is. Just, just say it happens, okay? And it makes it more fun and that saves a lot of time too. This is what happens. So when I put this here, what happens is it, it, it falls down like this, okay? And this has to be a square. Now, since I put it in the middle, I'm gonna use it like that, okay? Number one thing is I have to, okay. Okay, so we, I, I did that and we know this, let me finish this. So, one rule that I have is that it will only be connected once, twice, okay? So it's connected here and I have to connect it again, okay? So it would be something like, do I switch it? I'm not gonna, another thing, I'm, okay. Just when I did that, I made another rule. The rule was no twisting, okay? Excuse me, no twisting. So what I mean by twisting, I mean not to do that. So I decided not to do that. If it, whatever happens naturally, it's all right. So now I know this could be the top of the square. This could be the bottom of the square, but that doesn't have any kind of artistic effect. So because I put it in the middle, I know from imagination of a square, this is in the center, okay? And that's again, I thought about doing a corner first, but I didn't. So there's another time saver. I'm not sticking to um, anything because then I save more time also. It's not that it's bad, it's just gonna be very good. I mean, it's just that I'm changing, not changing the rules. I'm not sticking to any like definite thing as far as in my mind is you save time like that but it has still has to be beautiful okay so now i know that this is one half and this is one half so now what i'm going to do is remember it can only i could go like this okay to me i don't really like that but i seen in my mind more like this okay so, and it could do naturally, like I said, but I can't switch it on purpose. So from there, I'm just going to hook it like right there, okay? So that's the first one, okay? If you see, that's the first one. So the rules I make are going to be is that it has to be only stuck once, but I could also, this is one thing that I could do, is that I can cut it. It can be, because I'm not measuring anything, that's gonna save time. Um, uh, that's another time saver. It has to be beautiful though. I wanna make sure as much, it's as beautiful as possible. What I mean by beautiful connects or something. Um, so that's what I want to do. I wanna put this in there so you can see it. Um, so um, one, so the other rule, uh, it's not really rules, but how can I say um, one freedom I have is that it could be all different sizes, okay? So that's one size. And one rule is I don't want it to overlap anything. That's another rule. So I have the the two rules, but you don't want to make too many rules because if you make too many rules, then you have to put them on paper, you know what I mean? Most likely on paper or else it's going to waste more time to memorize it or put them up, okay? Unless you're going to do a hundred of them. <laughs> the more you do, the more rules you can add. But now this is like the first one of this kind, so I'm going to stick with maybe a few, I mean, Okay, a few rules. So my first rule is it has to only be stuck twice, okay? And the second rule is I can't overlap. The freedom I have is that they can be all different sizes. Now, 
that should pretty much end this. And the next time you see it, it's going to be finished. I want to see if I can give you some more insight on, okay, we have the freedom. The freedom is that it could be any size. So that's the freedom. The rules are is that it has to stick on two sides. An, okay, another rule is, is that it can't, I can't twist it. Okay, it could twist naturally, but I can't twist it. If it twists um, by mistake or something like that, that's no big deal. Okay, so, but there's something that life has in it. Because I said it can all be different sizes, watch this. Um, I never believed when I took, when I took um, algebra a lot in mathematics, and they would always say infinity, I never believed that, okay? Because like you see that right now, but because I have the freedom of any size, say if I did this, okay? Now this one is not going to be affected at all by the, by the weight. It's not going to be, unless I drop it, then it's going to be affected by the weight. But if I, um, but if I tape it, it's not going to have any effect at all. But there's one thing. Now, should I, okay, you remember the rules. These are how rules are. But if I stick it one time because it doesn't have any weight, do I have to stick it again? Okay. So, does that mean, just like in life, sometimes you don't have to follow the rules. Or sometimes the rules get kind of in the way. So because the rules get, got in the way this time, that means I could actually do it. And that's another thing that's going to save time. Because if you let your mind go and say, okay, it doesn't have to be that way, then let it go. Okay, it's just like in life. So now I'm going to say that when it's a piece like this or certain pieces, un under certain circumstances, just like in life, I don't have to take two times. So it's not really breaking the rules, but it's because, like I told you in school, when I said I don't believe in infinity, because when you break down things, it changes into something totally different. So you see how much different uh, abilities you can use with this and different abilities you can do that. So it's pretty much changed. So it wasn't like the infinity. This is the half, this half, this half, this half. So anyway... So now I'm going to just put it there, okay? So now we have a characteristic, okay, also. And that characteristic came from, um, I'm not saying not following the rules, but um, realizing that the rules got in, pretty much got in the way. So I hope you enjoyed this. And this one is going to be, like I said, um, way in on it, okay? And... I, when you come back, I, the next one I'm going to do on this is going to do show you a viewing of this one that I have. And I was going to do colors, but I'm not going to do... I was I had a, a decision to make. Would I make different colors? And I decided not to just now. So thank you very much. And you actually helped me. So next time, look for the Animar that um, I'm going to fill it up. And look for the animar for um, weigh in on it. Thank you. Bye bye.